brought you out here today to show you something I made carry out in the woods. I uh, seen a lot of guys making uh, sell uh, these packs and saw slings and uh, um, Bear Essentials is one and uh, another one is uh, Meander, Meander and Maker, both of them on Instagram. Both make great stuff. Um, I really like the Meander, Meandering Maker one, but just didn't want to spend the money. And I had never seen anybody make them out of solid leather before, at least that I could find. Um, everybody does either wax canvas or a mix of leather and wax canvas, so figured why not? I'll, uh, you know, I'm going to make one for myself. I might as well go all out and do it out of leather. This is made with uh, stone oiled uh, Kodiak. It's uh, four to five ounces, I believe. Um, strap, I used veggie tan leather, eight to nine ounce. Um, I used Chicago screws on them, um, on the attachments with D rings. And, um, got this, this here to strap to cinch it down and hold it all in. And, flap up. You can see it takes the take the axe out. And uh, inside there is my Boreal 21 um, saw. I uh what came in. Love this thing. Opens up. down. This thing cuts amazing. Um, I'll do a review on this uh, in review video, but I love this thing. And I don't know, you know, all these people complaining about it hurting your hands. I mean, yeah, maybe it's a hair uncomfortable, but I'd say they got soft hands. It's, uh, I haven't had any issues. And uh, I've cut some pretty Thick stuff, and I, I, I love this saw. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make myself a sling to carry my saw and axe in, in to the woods. If I just wanted to carry that and nothing else, I could just throw this over my shoulder. I can grab it and go. Um, I do need to um, wax it up just to give it some the leather some more protection. Uh, I used uh, waxed thread to sew it up. To give it some extra strength and resilience and uh, I'll tell you what it came out great I'm happy with it the only thing I thought after I would have liked the pocket for a, for a um, fire kit and uh, sharpener for the axe but I, what I came up with I'm gonna make a little pouch that'll hold that stuff and just sit on here, but I can take it off and clip it on my belt if I want. Um, that will remedy that. That way, I have always I've got a small, I've got my axe, my saw, a small fire kit, and a sharpener all in one. Just grab this bag and go if I want. Uh, if I really want to be primitive about it. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting a lot of use out of this, and hopefully it'll last the test test of time, and my uh, be able to pass it on down to my kids. Uh, definitely. You know, probably make more just uh, so I can give my kids some. And uh, yeah, love this thing. It works great. I made it uh, long enough so that the Boreal sits sits down or out in here. Um, but I made it long enough so that I can. I want to make my own uh, takedown buck saw and uh, left enough room so I can make one because those tend to be a little longer than the Boreal 21 so I wanted to make sure I had enough room to that I could leave I could put either that in or or my Boreal 21 so I'll make a video when I get done making my own uh, buck saw and show you guys 
Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Tell me you know, what you think of this. I, I think it came out great. I love it. I uh, I just I tend to like the darker browns, um, especially. I, I I dye a lot of my leather this dark brown because it's just it's just my favorite color. Um, I'm not a fan of the natural veggie tan and even the light brown. I just it's all right, but I I just I prefer this. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And we'll see you on another video. Thanks for watching.